Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be teaching you how to do one of the hardest parts of the van, wrapping your blobs. Let's jump right in. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna to have to trim this blob so that we're ready to wrap. Uh, our wall kit is gonna go in plain with this section here. So we're gonna to need to cut this little bit of the, the blob off to do that. Just like in our last video, we're just gonna slide a little piece of aluminum to shield our wiring harness, and then we're gonna cut this section off. So we're just gonna cut in plain with this right here. Pop this pin out. That looks pretty good. We can give it a trim. All right, now with our blob cut down, we're gonna prep our surfaces, make sure we degrease this area so we get good adhesion with our glue. So we got isopropyl on a rag. I'm just gonna wipe this down. Now that we have our blob degreased, let's open up these areas so we can get some good masking so we don't get overspray on our glue and get a little bit better access to some of these places. Take our panel popper, we're gonna open up our B pillar here, then up above, we're gonna pull our headliner down a little bit just so we can get some masking around it. Okay, so right behind here you can see there's a little copper clip. We don't wanna pull this panel all the way off because it's gonna make our life harder, but we can just bring it out just one click. That's gonna be enough to get some tape behind this section. Uh, next we're gonna pull the headliner down and just release some of these pins. Getting a panel popper tool is actually kinda of tough to get in here. So I just give it a firm grasp with my hand, and then we're gonna pull straight down. Ready to go. Now we're going to mask the edges so we don't get any overspray for our adhesive. Okay, with our area masked, we're ready to start spraying adhesive. Today we're gonna to be using 3M Formula 74. This is a foam and fabric specific adhesive that's not going to dissolve our styrofoam blobs. So it's really important to choose the right adhesive to get the job done. I'm also going to be using a spray shield to make sure I don't get overspray on my cabin. If it's your first time or you're a little nervous, you might want to just throw some plastic up, save yourself the trouble. So before we spray directly on our blob, let's go ahead and test our can and make sure we don't get any weird errant strings of adhesive spraying off. So I'm just going to hit it here, make sure I have a nice clean stream, then I'm ready to go to the blob. So when I hit the blob, I'm going to start with the field first, then we're going to get to our detail edges. Okay, so to wrap our blob, we're gonna pull three feet of tweed fabric off our roll, and then we're gonna cut that in half. So we're gonna end up with a 36 by 30 section of fabric for each side of the van. And we're gonna get two out of that linear pull. So then we're gonna spray our adhesive. And we're ready to go. Alrighty, with our fabric sprayed, we're ready to start applying. I'm gonna use the Roth the raw seam side towards the back of the van because we're not going to see any of that. I'm going to hang the fabric over the blob and just lightly put it into place and make sure my, med the, make sure my placement is right. Okay. Then I'm going to start with just the high points of that blob. So the, this front corner and this radius. I'm going to push my fabric nice and smooth into these points and then smooth out from there towards the outside. Okay. So we're going to apply light pressure at first. We can always add more pressure down the road. Then to get around a complex corner like this, we're going to give some tension on our tweed and pull it towards our corner. Okay, so pull there. Then we can kind of smooth into this space again. Avoiding wrinkles. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just slowly add tension and pressure. And when we get a wrinkle, we're gonna pull back and we're gonna add more tension to the, to the fabric and push it into place. So we also wanna add pressure as we get to this seam, we're gonna to wanna to add pressure to the blob and force that block into place because the fabric is gonna help lock it into place and give us a nice clean edge. With our blob mostly wrapped, we're gonna start trimming some of these edges so we can remove some of the excess and get us in a better position to fold our fabric around the back sides. Leave yourself some extra room. We can always cut more off, but you can't add more on. So let's trim. So right along here, I'm gonna give myself about three inches along this edge.
Give yourself a lot of excess down here because this is a tricky spot to wrap and we want to make sure we don't have any empty spots or exposed styrofoam. Most of this doesn't matter. Give myself a relief cut. All right, at this point, I'm gonna remove some of my masking tape from behind this so that it doesn't get glued to my fabric. So I can pull my headliner down and out of the way and I can tuck some of my fabric behind here. In a tight radius like this, we can give ourselves relief cuts, just like wrapping a panel or wrapping a windowsill. Keep in mind, with our corner here, let's give ourselves half an inch of safe space so that we don't expose one of our relief cuts. All right, now we're down to one of the tricky points. Getting all the fabric to not bunch too bad and tuck behind our driver's B pillar is gonna be tricky. So. We're gonna do some very careful trimming and a panel popper tool is gonna to help us to kind of push fabric into tight places. So I'm gonna trim some of my fabric away again, but I'm still leaving more than I need because this is the part that I always mess up. So I'm gonna pull from my front edge and try to push tight against the back of this, kind of wrapping around. I'm gonna pull some of this back and try to pull this tight around the corner again. Okay, so we got a pretty good corner. I have a little bit of a fold here. So we're going to peel back from that corner. We're going to add more tension and push tight against our block. Okay. Then we're going to pull this back and push it tight again. Okay. Just like that. That's looking good. Now I'm going to cut my fabric to about three quarters of an inch below this area. So I have some to stuff in, but we don't have too much to add bulk. All right. Now that our blob is complete and it's looking really great. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell all of the guys working here at the shop, peel it off and do it again. I know it sounds crazy, but the second time is gonna be so much tighter and better. So let's just peel it off and let's try it again. This is gonna be one of the steps that really sets your van build apart from the amateurs. Okay, when we wrap our blob the second time, we're gonna learn a lot of things. Those little challenging corners that you didn't get quite right, maybe you cut the fabric a little bit too close to the edge, you had a revealed seam, you had a revealed tear, or something like that. We're gonna solve all those issues and it's gonna be a much smoother application. So we're gonna respray our glue. We're gonna reactivate this. It doesn't have to be as heavy this time. We're just gonna use our spray shield here. So I'm gonna grab another piece of fabric and we're gonna start over. We're gonna do this a second time. When you've done this one twice, you'll probably get the next one right on the first time. But most likely if you're watching this video, it's the first time wrapping a blob, just do it twice. It doesn't take that long. I'm gonna run through it again at speed. Now, with our second wrap complete and we're happy with the final product, we can clean up a little bit of residue that may or may not have gotten on some of our plastics. So we use this 3M citrus-based adhesive remover. It's not going to white out our plastics and dry our plastics out. If you're building a van, it's a really good investment. One can of this is gonna do pretty much your whole job. Um, so we just spray a little on here. And then I had a little bit of residue here. And I had one little booger on my headliner here, I'm just gonna spot it and I'm gonna let the adhesive activate for a minute. And then I'm gonna come back and clean that up. But you are all done here. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel, find more tips and tricks, and go ahead and like this video so that others can find it. We'll see you on the next project.